everyone. It's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a random reading for October 26th. They are random, they're general, so take what applies, if it applies, and leave the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. Love you guys, you rock. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. Uh, the tarot card classes are going to be, um, my videos are going to be available for November 1st. Uh, they're $20 a piece and there's five videos, plus there's going to be a bonus video that goes with it as well. And there's always gift certificates to friend somebody a reading. So let's see what's going on for the 26th. Whoops. Dropped a card. Hold on. Ugh, could have done without this card. First card we got is a Five of Swords. The Hollow Victory. Followed by the Knight of Wands. The card that fell that I picked up was a Seven of Swords. The Thief card. Somebody here could be defending somebody who's a thief. Under here, the sneaky. Somebody might not be seeing somebody in that light. Hmm. This also could be somebody defending themselves if they're not a thief. Hmm. You have a star card, a healing card. A wish being granted. Hmm. Got the hangman. This is interesting. Hmm. Somebody's definitely defending themselves about taking something. Maybe somebody wishes that people would see them in a different light. Could be accusing somebody of sneaky behavior. Yeah. You get the Seven of Cups, but it's in the reverse. Now, anyone that knows me knows that I start all my decks upright. So if they come in reverse, they're meant to be that way. We have death. Somebody who doesn't have a lot of options but to defend themselves. Maybe because nobody else is. Somebody just wishes it. Ah, here's another wish. Three of swords. Wow. Oops. Ah. Now we've got the Queen of Pentacles. You're a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody who takes on those properties. Bottom of the deck. Woo. We get the uh, Queen of Cups. Now we have two queens here. This is the Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody who takes on these properties. She's very intuitive. She wears her heart on her sleeve, but you would never know that because she keeps her emotions well balanced. And the Queen of Pentacles has her back turned towards her. So this might be uh, an argument between friends. Wow. So let's get into this. So we have the Hollow Victory card. Somebody wins a battle, but they don't win a war. This is like a this is like an aggressive type of energy. This person is insistent on whatever they're defending. Now, because we have two queens here, it could be some. This could be a battle of uh, the roses here, war of the roses. That somebody is insistent. It's like they, you know, they instinctively know. 
that somebody took something and the other one's like, what are you talking about? Defending themselves and going at someone is what I'm feeling because it was a message sent, a message to take a course of action to engage about possibly somebody taking something. Now, whether it's the material things, your thoughts, your ideas, your dreams, your heart. But it's also trying somebody trying to go out the back door to not engage. Sneaking away with something. Maybe that's what started this whole fight. Somebody thinks somebody was getting away with something and somebody called them out. Now, just because they're queens doesn't mean that they couldn't be, you know, guys. You know, they're an energy. It can go both ways. And the wish card here is a healing energy. This is the universe letting you know that they're with you in your guides. A healing energy after a major conflict. Because somebody, somebody here heard something about somebody being sneaky. And they're calling him out on it. And then you have the hang man because this puts somebody, you know, stuck. Stuck in a relationship. Stuck in a friendship. But it's seeing something in a different perspective. And I think that's what's needed here. Maybe somebody here is just wishing that somebody would see their point of view. And then you get the Seven of Cups, you know, in the reverse. In the upright, and this is the Gilded Tarot, you know, this is somebody who has options. This is somebody who has choices. Everything in each cup looks pretty good. Which one do you take? But in the reverse, this could be somebody narrowing down their options, knowing exactly which cup they want. And being under the Seven of Swords, this could be somebody who doesn't have an option but to defend themselves. Ah, uh, yes, excuse me. Okay, I guess these. Maybe not. Carry on! And then after that, you have the Death card, which is about transformation. And I think this relationship, whether it is, you know, a love, ship, friendship, any ship, okay, this message that comes in, this conflict, changes the dynamics of this relationship. And again, after that, you have the Nine of Cups. Again, a wish card, a yes to a question. But nine to be close to a ten, this is like emotional fulfillment. But it's under the seven of swords. It's like somebody wishing something in secret. For some, not for everybody, this might be two friends that are secretly dating this guy. Like I said, that's not for everybody. That's just one little scenario. Because after that, you get the three of hearts. I mean, three of swords. This is heartache. This is disappointment. This is despair. It's right under this wish card. I think somebody here is accusing somebody of doing something behind their back with another person. 
I think somebody uh, maybe got some info. Because the Queen of Cups is here. The Seven of Swords is looking this way. The Queen of Pentacles is going this way. So it's like she's watching. But I don't know if it's true or not. Somebody might have heard a rumor that was heartbreaking. And they're hoping and they're wishing that's not true. Maybe somebody jumped the gun here. Yeah. Because somebody went in guns blazing without all the info. And it's not like they gave this other person an option. You force somebody to engage. And it does change the dynamics of this relationship. Somebody's just wishing it would go away. Because after the Queen, I mean, after the Three of Swords, you have the Queen of Pentacles. And she's going to back turn to a dogless. She is the Taurus, the Capricorn, the Virgo, or somebody who takes on these properties. This is somebody who is a realist. Okay? They're grounded. They don't sugarcoat anything. What it is, is what it is. And that's what they see around them. Yes, they like material things, but they're practical. They're methodical. They're easy to talk to. And right under the hanged man, I think somebody's got an impression of somebody. They think there's something going on behind their back. I think somebody is doing something on the DL and they want to know what it is. Hmm. Queen of Cups. Engaging. Yeah. I think somebody is has gotten some sort of alert or a message or something that somebody's doing something sneaky. And whether this is a friendship, a love ship, it could be in the work. You know, you get along with everybody, but then you find out, you know, somebody's doing something on the down low and it changes their perception. But I think this is more so in a friendship. Could be a love ship that somebody's just turning somebody away. And it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to them that they have this persona of them. Yeah. So let's break it down. Somebody felt like they had no other option but to engage. To approach somebody in an aggressive manner. Because somebody heard got a message. They took a course of action and this changes the, the dynamics of the relationship. Now somebody is wishing that would go away. The problem will go away. I think somebody's wishing that maybe that this person isn't Sneaky or conniving. I think this is just an accusation. If somebody wants this situation, they're wishing for it to be healed. Because nobody wants to feel this. But they're stuck. They're stuck on this person and what they truly believe. They need to see something in a different perspective in order to get the truth. So definitely a relationship has transformed. Probably a good one until somebody heard something. 
And I think they acted on impulse. I think they acted on emotion. She tries to keep her emotions balanced, but I think that after getting this message, she wasn't balanced at all, and she flew off the handle. So hopefully there is some healing and some truth that comes to this matter. Absolutely. So that is what I have for you today. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel, and I will talk to you real soon. Take care.